Hi YouTube, Tamara here, and welcome to day seven of VEDA. I did not post a day six video because I didn't really have much to say. I was kind of not doing anything of interest, but today I wanted to do a video about hashtag FemTube. It's a really cool collective. The term was coined by Akila Hughes from Akila, obviously, at a at um, a YouTube convention two years ago, and it she was talking about women on YouTube, and we kind of support each other, give each other advice, and chat to celebrate this two-year anniversary. Alexandria Taylor suggested that we create kind of a FemTube throwback videos to talk about things that we did in the beginning of our YouTube career. So I thought that was a pretty interesting idea and that's what we're going to do here. So I am going to insert the video that I look at. I'll probably scratch it. I'll do a thing. All right. So let's uh let's watch this video it's me performing insomniac song which is available in my paperback um <laughs> i always plug my book on here these days and <laughs> i can't oh it's you are currently resting on a pack a stack of books and my poetry collection is in that stack but it's called the shaping of an angry black woman and it's available on amazon if you so desire and i'm sure the link is in the description because that's where it lives okay i'm gonna press start now okay um i guess this is my first time up here too so I'm Okay, um, this is called It's All the Act Song. <clears throat> Quiet, let me sleep. Shh. The black comfort take me away from father's rotting corpse under uncut pots. A mother strung out on, a mother strung out on Oh, this is Wait, so uncomfortable. Alright, that was the beginning. That poem was recorded. Um, let me see. July fifteenth, twenty twelve, and that was at um, the Fresh Cafes where they used to host the uh, spoken word event that I can't think of the name of. Mm, it happens first, I think they just call it first Thursdays actually. It happens the first Thursday of every month. And that crowd has been the biggest spoken word crowd in the country in the past. And it was just too big and my nerves just got the best of me. Once I finally shook that off, it's it said fuck it and just went with my feelings and you know i was i was okay but uh of course one of the few recordings i have of me doing a reading is the one where i forget my lines yes so i need to write a new poem so i can go back on the stage and feel better about that um so yeah so this one right here is my first vlog so I will push button on this and we'll watch a piece of it hi YouTube my name is Tamara I'm a poet writer and blogger We're in the same dress this is my first vlog I'm really excited I want to see how this will all turn out I hope that I'll be making videos regularly but I really I did not don't know what I'm doing at all so I want to experiment and figure out how I can bring my life to YouTube in a way that we'll both enjoy. So, um, stay tuned. Oh, it's got my nails done. <laughs> I'm wearing 
Bayonet same Bay. color basically uh, at miracle miracle nails here in Honolulu. i did my own nails here and, at uh yeah it's been really nice them the size of and the little <laughs> foot spa had sparkly lights so that was cool i did okay. enjoy the sparkly um, lights in any case i am going to talk to you soon and uh we'll figure out what we'll uh, no here. editing thanks for listening mm -mm. have a good day bye you gotta love the sound. Whoop whoop! It's the sound of the police. Whoop whoop! So that was when we lived in Waikiki, and we lived in a studio apartment. I use the term apartment loosely. That thing was like it was no more than 120 square feet. And let me tell you, two people and less than 120 square feet is a recipe for a bad time. Like <laughs> very bad time. And there were so many tourists that going to the beach wasn't as much fun as you'd think it would be. And um, it was just always just way too crowded and just didn't feel comfortable. Um, and my car got broken into a couple times. And Waikiki ain't that big, y'all. It's just... It's just, it's like a little small area that has a lot of tourists, a lot of shops and stuff, and there is beach, but I like beach better than it's in other areas of the town. Anyway, enough of that. So this, this was my uh, hashtag femtube throwback, and I have to say that it was very cringeworthy. Uh, I hated it, <laughs> but you know what? It's all right. It's okay. I think that I've learned at least how to edit a little bit better, so that's good. And um, I feel more comfortable in front of the camera, even though it's still very weird to me, and I'm not that good at it. But I'm more willing to put myself out there, put myself in front of the camera. Um, my first vlog, I recorded that February 25th of 2013. So it's been like four years since I started posting on here semi-regularly. So that's that's that. Um, <laughs> let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have... A YouTube channel. Have you checked out your first video lately? And did it make you cringe so hard as this did for me? <laughs> Once again, my name is Tamara. I talk about books and I talk about writing because that's what I love. Thank you so much for joining me for Veda and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.